How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secrets. I'm inside. What now? The President's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my Vice President's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, hack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Eyes open, Nick. Hey! No harm, no foul. Easy there. Hey! Take it easy, buddy. No problem, right, man? What did you think? Of what? Speech? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come, now. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be... Your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. Which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smooth. Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson? I don't trust Samson. But... I thought we were both more realized than that. 
This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let, let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with them since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting. Of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. <laughs> I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Careful. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. Uh I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? The Director Reed staff. felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Oh. You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. Then why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. He 
just ducked into the VIP tent. Go, Sam. You have to catch him. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they pulled up the shooter. Then the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. Later 
that morning. Washington businessman and philanthropist Lucius Galliard no suffered a fatal activity. heart attack while visiting the memorial itself. He was taken to the Washington Mercy Hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. Meanwhile, a multiple car pileup in that same area had police on the scene. There is no word yet of any Are we sure Fisher's still police in the Lincoln Memorial Zone? take an alternate route if possible to avoid traffic. We now return you to your program. No contact on Fisher. He's gotta be near this cafe. No contact. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Can't get a fix on fish. Check everywhere, even the bathroom. Find the hostile and terminate him! God Fuck damn! Me. Get to the hostile. Quit the area. Locate the target and eliminate them. Still no visual on Fisher. Continue to sweep the cafe. No signs of movement. Looks like trouble. I got a man down here. Forget about the monument. Fisher's in the fair. Find him. No contact yet. I'm continuing my sweep. Ah, oh, shit! No fisher yet! Find him! He's simply not having his coffee! Fuck! I don't have a visual on the target. Is anyone advised? No contact on Fisher! Has anyone checked the cafe? I don't have... Got away. Shit! Motherfucker! Time to go, That's Sam. It, Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Nobody's seen fish. Damn! Your ride's waiting on the bridge, Sam. It shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. 
building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside third echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Damn it! You've been detected. They've locked the building down. Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Damn it! You've been arrested. They've locked the building down.
We interrupt your regular programming to bring you some breaking news. In the aftermath of Vice President Sampson's controversial speech at the Lincoln Memorial, fate has intervened. Police are reporting a real-life deadly accident at the Lincoln Memorial later that morning. Washington businessman and philanthropist Lucius Galliard suffered a fatal heart attack while visiting the memorial itself. He was taken to the Washington Mercy Hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. Meanwhile, a multiple car pileup in that same area had police on the scene. There is no word yet if anyone was injured. Police advised drivers to take an officer view as possible to avoid traffic. We now will send you to your program. Building's going into lockdown. They know you're there. It's over. Damn it! You've been detected. You've got to go to the
All units, please report. Attention all personnel, please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. Sam, the one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter, as the enemy, as the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth, it was waiting for him. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. Got it. 
Still don't see Fisher. Are we sure he's here in third echelon? Watch for movement. He's close. No contact. Repeat, no contact. Holy shit! Gotta be close by. Everything's clear on my end. No fisher, no employees left, nothing. Activity. Fisher won't try his luck here. That'd be fucking crazy.
Falcon is still in the area. Guess again, fuckface. I've got no contact with Fisher. I do not want him alive in our building. No targets at this time. Fisher, over here. Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls. You name it. Not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Give me some backup, Bruno! You better get moving. Three down the hallway. Go find a Fisher. Now, we better hurry. The officers need to be empty for tonight. No sign of fish. Restricted areas. Take the board room. Fisher is still hiding. Put an end to it. Oh my god. 
Sign of Fisher. Could have been anyone scared by the power outage. Clear on my end. No fisher, no employees left, nothing. Stand by. Any 
Take a look at something. What the? Huh. Try some suspicious activity. Stand by. No. Wait one. I need to take a look at something. Interesting. There's fishers! I've got no contact with Fisher. I do not want him alive in our building. Whoa! I think I got him. He's over there. Nothing unusual to report. Got a target! It's Fisher! <laughs>
was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Raise the security level. Do something. He's gonna kill me. No. Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. Paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you! She won't play ball. But the VP is already in Makito's pocket. Uh, Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I don't know anything about her. Fisher. Like I said, they gave me a picture. Told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for Third Echelon. Anything they needed. Oh, ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with a VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. <laughs>
No contact on Fisher. Men still on our turf. We're clean here. No fire. We're clear. Jesus Christ! I got a lead on the hostile. I think he's over there. No visual on the contact. Stay frosty. We gotta be close by. Area's quiet. Still no sign of the target. Fisher's still in our building and he's on the loose. I repeat, Fisher is on the loose! No sign of the hostile. Everybody keep your eyes open. Still no visual on the contact. Can anyone... You're still losing our building. Find him. I don't have a visual on the target. Can anyone advise? Watch your back. It's close. Really close. No sign of fear. That's bad. Get the guy who did this. I don't have a fix on the target. Can anyone see him? Nobody sees Fisher? Damn it! Let's kill him before Colonel Reed kills us! I don't have a fix on the hostile. Please advise! You better hurry up and find Fisher, gentlemen. We have to close... <laughs>
No contact. Repeat. No contact. Pop and smoke. Contact spotted. Get away from me! Never mess with me. Go. I do not have a visual on the contact. Smoke grenade. So tell me about Sarah, Grim. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there, he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. And Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I faked Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, COVID, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday... Sam! Sam! Sam, listen to me! Sam! What? You have to listen to me. What's done is done. But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. Haven't you heard? He's dead. Just ask my daughter. Sam, please. My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go, save your daughter. I was never holding her. 
That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the President. Maybe I'll see you there. Attention all personnel. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there, now. Warning, protocol 2319 is now in effect. Warning, protocol 2319 is now in effect. best friend he'd murdered and betrayed him for the best reason in the world. Knew that the thing he'd helped Lambert build needed to be utterly destroyed. He was his own man now. And all his ties to his old life were gone. Except for Grim. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much at least. Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was gonna leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't gonna abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad. <laughs> 